welcome everyone in this video lecture we will solve a problem based on the MOSFET circuit and it is from the micro turn circuit book and this is problem is somehow related to the channel length modulation so the question is an inmost transistor is fabricated in a 0.4 micro process having mu n cox 200 micro ampere per voltage square so given thing is that given the mu n cox is 200 micro ampere per voltage square and vads okay vads is 50 volt per micrometer okay of channel length okay and l value the channel length will be 0.8 micrometer and corresponding width will be 16 micrometer okay we have to find va and lambda okay so in my last video i have already discussed related to all the theory aspect for this problem so i will share the description uh, share the link for the description of all the theoretical aspect but before that also i want to just draw the very basic characteristics between the id and vds so where we will so if we extrapolate this one this line means what is va or something so this point is say minus va and one we can say one minus one by lambda okay and this one for the n most this one will be in ideal case this one will be lambda will be greater than zero and ideally what ideally what we have observed that the characteristic somehow id will be just parallel okay means here the drain current one more expression that means id is 1 by 2 mu n cox w by l vgs minus vt whole square for lambda is equal to 0 when we are not considering the channel length modulation without channel length modulation we can say without channel length modulation okay i'm not giving the theoretical aspect okay so here this lambda will be we can say a zero but if we write id expression one can also write mu n c o x w by l one plus lambda times of vds into vgs minus vts square here the lambda will be greater than zero so with channel length notation so we can be done with channel length modulation so these are the two formula and all are in the saturation region there this vgs minus vt all are in the saturation region okay already discussed in brief everything okay and this point is our minus va okay so these two formula is very important okay this one is a one and the another one is this one okay so these two so basically in the channel length modulation one more concept before we are solving any problem uh, some basics we have to know means if i am saying this one is source and drain okay and i'm just making one line like this means actual channel length is l okay but when this drain to source voltage vds is greater than or more greater than the vds set this the drain uh, the channel is somehow shifted towards the source region okay this one is the channel somehow shifted so the new channel length will be l minus delta l and if we solve everything 
it will come this expression. So this one is also expression and VA equals to 1 by lambda. Okay, so in this question, VA dash, VA dash is nothing but simply we can say the process technology parameters. Okay, VA dash is, is nothing but simply VA dash process technology parameter in the question it is given which is dependent which with depends or depend which depends or which depends on the dimension okay having unit volt per micrometer okay with this unit will be va minus uh, va dash okay better to write va dash va dash unit will be volt per micrometer okay but here i have this va and if id id will be zero when drain current is zero it will give the early voltage this early voltage va will be just simply after putting everything id will be zero one k right one plus lambda vds equals to also zero so vds that is that is simply our va equals to one by lambda that is coming here okay so minus so now this we have to find va so now first of all also this is a means fabricated on a 0.4 micro means the minimum channel length will be 0.4 okay so l is aspect ratio everything is given okay so now this one is va dash so first we have to find in the question va okay so for va what we can write this having unit volt per micro so va must be having va dash into channel length okay if we directly multiply with the channel length then its unit will be volt okay its unit overall unit will be volt so simply we have to just va dash into l so va dash is 50 volt per micrometer into channel length is our 0 0.8 micrometer so this micro micro cancel this 0 0.8 so if you remove this would be 10 so this 10 0 8 into 5 simply 40 so it should be 40 volt so now va is simply our 40 volt very simple okay we have already calculated va okay so this one is the fundamental formula we can say va day because the process technology is a function of volt per micrometer so if we have to process technology with dimension volt so we have to multiply with the channel length so va will be 40 volt okay now we have to find the lambda lambda so this is just the reciprocal of the va so now for the lambda calculation okay so lambda is nothing but simply 1 by va okay very simple lambda equals to 1 by va from this one so it should be 1 by 40 okay so if we have to solve what i am doing if we multiplying the above with 1000 why i am writing like this so it should be 0 0 1000 by 1000 should be 4 then 25 okay so 25 by 100 around 0 0.025 volt or directly you can write 1 by 40 is simply our 0 0.025 per volt okay so here the lambda value will be simply 0 0.025 how i am calculating that i have shown you so this one is the another result okay so now after that first two things are over means we have to find vds and this one now we have to find the id that results when the device operated with the overdrive voltage okay id we have to find okay for the overdrive voltage 0.5 volt okay 0.5 volt and vds 1 volt okay so vds is given so okay i'm saying vds is 1 volt is given and overdrive voltage that is our vgs minus vt is given 0.5 volt okay so here we have to write the drain current equation so we, when id is vds is given so here this is related to the channel length modulation so we have to write this expression 
okay very simple so you have to very careful about the main expression so once again i am writing 1 by 2 mu n cox w by l 1 plus lambda vds into vgs minus vt whole square or once once again one can also write because overdrive voltage is given w by l 1 plus lambda vds and this vgs minus vt is a overdrive voltage so v o v whole square okay so this one is the expression so we have to find id okay so we can easily find the value of id so id what we have to write 1 by 2 mu n co x everything is given so this value is 200 microampere per voltage square so once again i am showing 200 microampere per voltage square okay so we have to just type 200 micro ampere per voltage square okay so just i am writing w by l w is already given 16 okay 16 micrometer okay and the l is 0 0.8 micrometer okay it is already given so i am writing into 1 plus lambda lambda we have already calculated 0 0.025 into vds is 1 volt this one so vds 1 volt okay so VDS is this 1 volt, 1 volt, so and VOV is 0.5 whole square. Now we have to solve, so it should be 20, okay, it should be 10, so 2000, okay, 2000 into 10 to power minus 6, okay, then if you add then 1 plus 0 0.025 so 1.025 into 0 0.5 square then 0 0.525 so 0 0.25 okay and if we again solve this whole term okay i am not going to solve one by one but if we calculate everything so 2 into 10 to the minus 3 into this all these things so if we solve this one it will come nearly 0 0.5125 milliampere Okay, so this one is the expression of ID with VDS, how much? 1 volt, overdrive voltage, 0.5 volt, okay, and the corresponding lambda, lambda is our 0 0.025. So the corresponding value will be 0 0.5125 milliampere. So this one is the one more. Okay, I am highlighting this one, important digit, so, okay, for different, different value, VDS, everything, this one, clear, so, this one is also clear, now, the third part, ID, also, okay, ID, okay, now, we have to find the, when the device is operated with an overdrive, also find the value of R0, so, we have to find the value of R0, that is our output resistance. output resistance are not okay so now once again what i am doing id expression is there 1 by 2 mu n c o x w by l i am just first going to derive that one into v o v whole square i am writing so if we divide this one del id by del v d s it will come 1 by 2 mu n C O X W by L one okay so zero and lambda V D S should be for simply lambda into V O V whole square because basically we are doing del I D by del V D S okay keeping all things constant this term constant okay we have to divide okay so I am saying this is a k so k times of one plus lambda V D S so d by dvds okay so k 1 it should be 0 plus lambda so lambda k so this should be lambda into this so lambda k or simply del id by del vds is simply one can write 
1 by 2 mu m ux just i have shown how to find everything v o v whole square into lambda okay so this one so now output resistance will be nothing but simply del v d s by del i d okay this one means just a reciprocal so we have to take it r naught del v d s or sometimes in the book you can find this as a del i d by del v d s all inverse so same thing okay so now this one is the expression so the value of r naught the output resistance can be calculated as 1 by oh, so we can make it 2 up then mu n c o x w by l okay into v o v a square into lambda so one can write 2 okay mu n c u x is 200 micro so we can write 10 to the minus 6 w by l w is 16 micrometer okay by 0 0.8 micrometer v o v a square v o v a square is 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 into lambda lambda already calculated how, how much lambda value is 0 0.025 0 0.025 okay and basically this one this on del id by del vds or this expression can be written as r naught that is our okay del okay del id by del vds inverse or simply d vds by d i d if we carefully think it should be simply one by id id by lambda okay so this so now it's a hundred so if we solve this one if we solve this one so 10 to the power minus 4 so it should be if we take it 10 to the power 4 okay then it should be our 20 so 20 into 0 0.5 square so 0 0.025 into point 0 0.025 this one and 0 0.25 so 1 by 20 all these things means basically 10 to the power 4 by this expression okay so if we solve carefully uh, means simply so i have already calculated so this will come nearly 80 kilo ohm okay or this one this r naught so this r naught is basically our uh, once again 1 by id lambda or we can say the va by id anything you can write okay depending upon your choice of problem okay clear so this one will be so r naught will be simply our 80 kilo ohm so this is the one part okay r naught will be you can solve it is very easy okay but we have to careful means the calculation means how we are doing everything okay there may be mistake but this one is the right answer okay there is no mistake okay. so r naught will be 80 kilo ohm so we have already find the output resistance it is our 80 kilo ohm in this question now we have to find we have to find okay we have to see what is the also find the value of r naught at this operating point already find for this operating point okay what should be the r naught that is our 80 kilo ohm okay now if vds is increased to 2 volt what is the corresponding change in id now vds is increased to 2 volt so id value we have already cal cal uh, calculated for 1 volt okay so this one will be 0 0.5125 okay here just 0 0.5125 milliampere okay this one id 1 volt now we have to find id value for vds 2 volt okay so then after percentage change we have to find means percentage change means what we have to say means the modulus of id value for vds 2 volt minus id value 
of VDS at one volt by the actual uh, ID VDS one volt. So this one will be the percentage change. Okay. So this one is known to us. So ID for this VDS. So once again, you can write one by two mu m u x w by l one plus lambda VDS into V O V whole square. Okay. So once again, you can we have to go for calculation 200 into 10 to the power minus 6 and W is 16 micrometer by 0 0.8 so micrometer so and 1 plus lambda lambda value is 0 0.025 0 0.025 lambda value 0 0.025 we have already calculated we have to put here into VDS2 volt into VOV VOV is same 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 okay this one is our VOV so okay this one you can directly write this is a 20 okay so 2 into 10 to power minus 3 then if you solve this one it will come 1.05 into 0 0.25 so if we solve perfectly it will come 0 0.525 milliampere okay so this id for vds 2 volt okay then after what we have to do we have to find this percentage change so id at vds 2 volt already calculated 0 0.525 milliampere so i am not writing 0 0.5125 okay for 1 volt and this would be 0 0.5125 okay then if we solve this one it will come 0 0.01255 0 0.5125 Okay, then it should be nearly 0 0.02439 or simply we can say this should be 0 0.025. Okay, so the percentage change in the current will be this milliampere. Okay, so this one will be the final answer for this one, the percentage change. So this is all about this uh, question. We have to go very carefully about the, all these things. And for more detail, you can follow my video. I will share the link for that particular video in the description menu. So thank you for watching this video. So once again, I am writing the final answer for everything. VA, we have already find 40 volt. Okay. Okay, I will remember the, oh, what we can say the, and this lambda 0 0.025 okay volt inverse okay then after id find the id when the device is operated with the, this id so this id will be 0 0.5125 milli uh, ampere okay r not 80 kilo ohm and when this one is the percentage uh, change in this one will be 0. Point, uh, finally how much 0 0.025 0 0.5 so this is all about this question so thank you for watching this video.